On the 9th of November, a new blog post was added to the Blender website by Delay, titled Nodes Modifier Part 1 Sprites, which outlines the foundation's new focus for the Everything Nodes project, which has shifted from particles to geometry nodes. For those of you who don't know, Everything Nodes is the name of a project idea where almost everything in Blender should be controllable by nodes, much in the same way that materials and shaders can be constructed with nodes. It will allow for an incredible amount of flexibility and controllability depending on how they choose to implement it. Geometry nodes in this case means being able to build and modify geometry through the use of a node tree which is assigned to the object through the modifier stack. Ideally, everything node should manifest itself in a way where different aspects like geometry and particle nodes are interconnected rather than separate, but we'll have to wait and see to what degree the developers will do this in the long run. In this blog post, Delay gives a breakdown of the development of the project so far, saying that the particle nodes element started in 2019, but was paused in August of that year to make sure they had the design on point. Following on from this, the design was shifted away from particle nodes and onto geometry nodes, because those were the features the Blender Studio artists were looking forward to the most. They'll be approaching the development of the project with heavy consideration for real project use cases. One frontline case in particular is for pebble scattering, and they also provided a drafted node tree for what this should look like in practice. Further use cases they hope to tackle include more set dressing examples such as flowers and tree scattering, as well as procedural modeling examples like tree bark and moss. On top of this, Manta flow integration and dynamic particles are also noted down. Users have been calling for a way of building procedural systems for a long time, since this is the way asset and tool development is heading in the 3D industry, reducing the time investment of manual effort to produce results. We're seeing this in the growing popularity of softwares like Houdini, who have already adopted these ideas into their core philosophy. Also, having new core features like this will allow future add-on developers to produce amazing new tools to really push them to their maximum potential. Visual node systems allow data to be combined in ways that are simply not possible with a conventional linear stack, like the pre-existing modifier stack. Geometry nodes promises to expand what's possible with procedural and parametric modeling in Blender, and this really opens up a whole world of possibility for design and asset creation in all kinds of workflows and production environments. As you may know, I've been extremely interested in procedural modeling workflows, which has formed quite a large part of my business. Back in early 2019, I released a Biogen add-on which helped people build non-destructive generative styles on objects by making heavy use of the modifier stack. This was then followed up by a series of structural generation tools which I built in Python to test out the possibility of using Blender for generating procedural structures. This is something that can be done with relative ease in other softwares without the use of code, such as Houdini, which tend to have a design focus more geared towards these kind of procedural workflows. I have felt like Blender has been more limited in this department since I started this channel, and I would of course like to build more procedural projects, so it's encouraging to see the collective Everything Nodes project putting more of a focus into the geometric space, because I can definitely see a huge demand for these features by taking a very quick glance at Blender's expansive add-on community. Of course, where there's demand, there's innovation, and there have been so many amazing add-ons developed to try and fill the gap in Blender's current capabilities, like the very well-known animation nodes and Sverchok add-ons. Although an interesting thing should be pointed out, that the original lead developer of the Animation Nodes project is the lead developer of this team working on the Geometry Nodes, so it's safe to say the project is in good hands. So simply on a matter of personal preference, I've been waiting for Blender to start incorporating these features into the core stable version before producing new procedural content, and consequently new tools that will be based around those features. For example, I'm sure that future versions of Biogen will of course make heavy use of geometry nodes in order to help people build an incomprehensibly huge variety of visual styles, much more than is currently allowed by the modifier stack alone. Now if there's anyone out there that's interested in playing around with geometry nodes on an experimental branch, then you can do that right now by going to the Blender website, down to the experimental section, then clicking on experimental branches and finding the Blender 2.92 geometry nodes branch. Now if you want to see this in action first, then I know that both CG Matter under the default cube channel and Ask NK have already made some demonstration videos, so they might be worth checking out. And if you want to find more information on the Geometry Nodes project, then Delay has been kind enough to point us in the right direction. First of all, there's a development work board where you can track the tasks and progress. You can also keep track of the Geometry Nodes squad conversation on the Blender chat website. And of course, as well as this, there's also the DevTalk Blender thread. So that's what I wanted to show you today, feel free to share your views on the project in the comments below. So thanks for watching everyone, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.